In a few simple steps, I'm going to show you how to turn this image here into this image here. Let's dive right in. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is add a new image layer. So click here. And I already have this folder set up, so I'm going to choose the lion. Click open and the lion appears. Now I have image opacity here, which I can turn up and down so that we can see what we're working with. But for me, I am going to work straight away in edit mask and I'm going to use the brush tool. So as soon as I start painting, Luminar has created a hide all mask. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start painting, the line will disappear and only the areas I've painted will appear. So let's go. So we start here and I'm going to take this nice and gentle with this. And you can see why I have chosen this image in particular because it matches up fairly well with what we have. You can see from that as well the image beginning to take shape with this. And you can see how quick it is just to create these types of images. Now I can take out the other eye and create that. And then round here and I can paint in what we have of the line down here and the lion's mane. Where everything starts to take shape with this image in particular is because the chap has a beard and it's really helped with this. So choosing the images is as important as what you do with them afterwards. So I'm just going to finish that right off in here. So now we have that there. So you can see from that that Luminar has created a hide all mask and then we've used that hide all mask to reveal the areas that we want to keep. I'm still going to have fun with this image, so I'm going to bring in some more areas here. I'm going to take the brush size down slightly and I'm going to blend that in to his moustache just around there. So we have that. If I want to take some of the areas away, I go into Erase and I take them away here. I'm also going to take some away there. Okay, so you can see what's happened with this image. We still have some of his hair showing, so I can paint that back in to reveal it if I want, or I can go back to paint and conceal it. And we have an image like that in a fairly short amount of time. Okay, we're nearly finished with this image. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back into the face layer and I'm going to take the saturation down ever so slightly within the face layer to allow this to blend together. So we'll go back to face, go into essentials, go to color, and I'm going to pull the saturation back just ever so slightly. And I'm also going to pull the vibrance back ever so slightly. Then I'm going to go back into layers and go to the line. So now that you can see, it matches better. So last but not least, I am going to go in to add a new adjustment layer. I'm going to go into the creative tools. I'm going to choose a LUT. And for this LUT, which you can cycle through, I am going to choose candle light. And there we have it. Hopefully you saw how easy it was there just to blend these two images together and then add a LUT at the end to get the final image. Remember, explore the software, Enjoy the software and have fun with the software.